hello and welcome to the latest UK map for OMC2. That is right, this is the second proper London map to be released for OMC2, meaning it's RHD and it is properly detailed. It is OMC2 London 24 project, also known as OMC Pimlico. Today we are going to be taking our first look at the map because I acknowledge yesterday's stream was far from perfect and left a lot to be desired. So in this video I'm going to be giving my comprehensive overview of this map as we drive the 24 from Pimlico to Hampstead Heath. We'll be driving the Volvo B5LH Stealth Body Bus in the London spec. Unfortunately, there's no Abelio repaint for this, so we'll have to make do with this. Now, I'm not sure if it's the Street Tech HEVs or the B5LHs that operated on the 24 before the NRMs became the mainstay of the route. So I just uh, chose the B5LH, but this might not actually be accurate, so apologies for that. Here we are by the River Thames on the 24 at Pimlico. This route's about 50 minutes long, and it is the... Uh, first, uh, it is the, um, what was it? Let me remember the correct term. It's the original, it's the, um, yeah, it's the first unchanged bus route in London. So basically, it's, um, it's the route that dates the longest back because it's the only route that is exactly the same as it when it started out. So the route's the same, but presumably from Pimlico to Hampstead Heath, which is 7 miles or 10.2 kilometers. So it's not the longest route out there, but nonetheless, it has quite a bit of detail, and it also has Ballastie Depot, which is further down the route. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started and set up our uh, bus. So let's sign into our machine. We just need to wait for this booting. Why is it uh, Pimlico? That's a half, so click enter. Our driver number is 69-2021. So yeah, it's already 20... 2022. How time flies, eh? Uh, for garage ID, um, yeah, I don't know why I have to put in 23 for it to work. Now we just wait for this to transfer to the MDT, and then we can set up our 24. So that's just transferring over. Now, I did actually start this video earlier on, but unfortunately, OMC2 crashed because OMC2 is an unstable mess that still sells a Tertio despite the fact it being one of the most poorly optimized games ever made. So, yeah, there you have it. Um, that's uh, logic for you. No, we're not going to Pimlico, actually. What am I doing? So, yeah, it's interesting that, that Camden Town shows up uh, on the blinds before um, Hampstead Heath, even though Hampstead Heath is further away. Tough for the blinds is to... By the way, with the shows up first. As you can see here, 24 is seems to be the lowest number on the blind. So presumably this just features the routes that are operated by Ballacy, and 24 is the lowest route there. Uh Ballacy seems to be a small enough depot, so presumably that's why the blind rolls don't take too long. But then there's quite a lot of destinations, as you can see here, Crystal Palace, Depth for Bridge, Lowitz Library. One of the four or five trees operated out of Ballacy. And also 24 pretty much passes through most of central London, or well, most of central London, most of like the kind of well-known areas. You have Victoria, Trafalgar Square. Uh, Camden Town, uh, though Camden Town's kind of not really central London, per se. So yeah, 24 to Hampstead Heat. Okay, quite a long bus stand, yeah, like it could fit quite a bit of bus, uh, quite a few buses here. So it's only the 24 that stops here, interesting. Yeah, some apartments by the sea. Won't be doing too bad, you know. You're living here, but, uh, well, it's not the best view, you know. That's quite an industrial looking uh, building, presumably from the industrial era. What I quite like about this map is just the level of detail. So it's made to be as dynamic as possible, respecting the limits of OMC2. And we all know OMC2 has severe limits because OMC2 is um, terrible when it comes to optimization. Yeah, I'm being very unforgiving to OMC2 because at this point, you know, I've, I'm kind of a bit fed up with just how. Basically, annoying everything is with OMC2. But anyway, that aside, uh, as you'll see further up, you have those. I think that's like a 2D panorama, kind of like what's used in the Belgrade map. And it just makes the map feel more dynamic, as well with the uh, backdrops. They, they use the same kind of uh, dynamic panorama, uh, 2D pictures to make it feel 3D. Although there was a bus use for one of them, but look, we can forgive that. Yeah, there's not many cyclists in London in real life, I don't think. But uh, yeah, if you have the Catherine City, you get the cyclists as well. No, actually, I need to... 
Yeah, uh, I need to be careful here. Um, I need to turn on the uh, root arrows because for a mi minute it was going to go straight because that is kind of convincing the backdrops. But yeah, uh, we don't actually know the root. So, well, actually, we can kind of figure it out just going off of the backdrops. So, we'll try to go without root arrows. But yeah, I've only done this root once and it didn't work out too perfectly because I forgot to install the 4 gigabyte patch because that's one thing with OMC2. You have to always have the 4 gigabyte patch applied. It doesn't just stick to it. So, yeah. Oh yeah, you should be able to hear the 24 the Hampstead Heat uh, playing. The what? Uh, I'm not sure why she's saying Pimlico School, it's Hampstead Heat, but anyway. Yeah, so this is this is part of the priority bus network seems there's no stopping at any time. I've actually think I've been in this area before. These uh, white buildings look familiar. Yeah, and also what's nice is like they've put like every single building between which there. Like you know, um, no, it's they actually go right here. Um, so you know, pretty much, like you know, shop wise and everything is all as accurate as possible. Oh wow, the AI is letting me through. Who would have thought that uh, right, we see the day? You know, I'm surprised. Hello, makes up for I'm still crashing. Not really, but you know. Hey, we'll take it. You know, when when the AI decides to play ball, we will not complain. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Why was I in Pimlico? Because yeah, there's nothing like anything of particular interest in this area. But yeah, am I going the right way? Zoom straight, or left. Very tight turn. So, um, yeah, Pimlico. Also, there's new AI in this, so, um, you know, you'll notice new AI. There's nice, like, motorcycles lying about, although there's no actual people driving motorcycles. And that's a, I just guess, a unique feature of Vienna. Why is this guy turning when I'm turning? Like, I don't get it. Like, he, le he lets through the other... Yeah, this is a very tight turn. Let's through the other uh, vehicles, but not, uh, you know, not us. I'm not quite sure why. Yeah, there's a little just closed off park. I think that's one of those parks you can actually go into. It's kind of like completely enclosed off. And the Prius uh, overtook us. Got it what it wants. Ah, oh, Hampstead Heath, yeah, there we go, now it's saying Hampstead Heath. Yeah, go on the inside, yeah, it's, it's always strange to overtake on the inside, because usually overtake on the outside. But yeah, they're turning right, so it makes sense. Yeah, so what's up with these, like, uh, white houses? Big part of Pimlico, isn't it? But you know, the map is just absolutely stunning, you know. I had a feeling it was very grey looking when I kind of just saw briefly the videos, but now it's actually, you know... It's quite uh, vibrant, and you know, it really does feel like you're in London. And a lot of these places, like all of these places, are recognisable. So, you know, it's it's nice to have like a real UK map because there's a lot of UK maps now that are going pay. And look, there's you know, there's nothing wrong with. It, but I have the, the, my main, the big issue is like, well, it's the, they're all fictional. It's kind of like you know, if you want to do something pay, where like generally real stuff just sells better because you know. If you, 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 want, you tend to want to pay for something real, not something that's kind of just like made up, because it's much easier to make a fictional map than it is to make a real map. Although, I know if you make a real map, there's a copyright issues uh, if you make a pay where, which means some buildings can't be featured in. I'm not sure that's necessarily the case, because like Champs and Vienna has a lot of like real life buildings, there's no issues there, so. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure why it does this. Um, It's done this to me before, and I'm not sure why, because I've got the 4 gigabyte patch installed, so. I'm not sure what's the story here with this, um, because I did this last time, but this time I applied the 4 gigabyte patch, so it shouldn't be doing this. Now, I presume he's not moving because there's a building there, so he, yeah, so, unfortunately, folks, I don't know why that happens. It's very annoying. Um, I'm not, 
This happens in Belgrade as well. Um, I think it's just generally happens in detail maps, but <laughs> okay. I'll have to, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'll have to figure out why this is happening. But yeah, I do apologize about this, but there's nothing really I can do. I've applied the four gigabyte patch, so I'm not too sure what else could be causing this. It might be the bus we're using. Yeah, so there, now you see it fixes itself. So yeah, um, it just seems to be a lot going on in Victoria, so that's why it's happening. But interesting enough, this doesn't happen in other London. Um, I'm not sure how many better testers this has had, um, but yeah, presumably this might have been something spotted, um, but yeah, I don't know, maybe this only happens to me, but I don't know, this has happened to me in the Belgrade map, I know, but that's really the only other map that's happened to me on, I know it's really, that because the maps that have a lot of detail, it tends to occur, so, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna skip the red lights. Uh, another part is just here because I kind of just want to get out of the uh, pretty much what's the lag mess because yeah, it just does take away from the experience. Am I even under? I've, t I've actually. I don't even think I'm allowed to turn in here. Whoops. Yeah, we're so eager to get out of the. Uh, Man, yeah, that we kind of went the wrong way, so it's this way we need to go. Um, yeah. Okay, which way am I meant to be going now is the question. So this way. Okay, I have a feeling I'm meant to... Yeah, it's... Yeah, okay, so... I, I probably need to verify my files because oh yeah this is this is this is this is why I'm just kind of fed up with Omsi two because this kind of crap only happens in a game like Omsi two and I just it's a bit ridiculous that this is selling like this game still like it hasn't gone beyond a forty percent discount even though the fact it's it's pretty terrible when it comes to optimization like it, you know it really doesn't justify being sold at thirty quid considering you know it's just so poorly made like. You know, because the, the issues that were present in 2013 are present even still, so... We're gonna have to turn in here even even though this is a no-go area, because... Yeah, I don't know if I need to verify my files, I don't know what I need to do, it's just... Not, I'm not really sure why this is happening. To be honest. Might be a fonts issue, but I, I I installed all the fonts and I overwrote everything, so yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm at a bit of a loss to be honest. <laughs> um, but yeah, so otherwise this should be fixed now. So hopefully at some point I'll be able to fix this and it will be able to look at Victoria properly. Uh, because I presume, like, others might not be having this issue, um, so yeah. Try, yeah, it doesn't take, like, you know... Because still the map is quite enjoyable. Ah, here we are in the congestion zone, so yeah. But yeah, that should be, uh, that, we should be past that now, or maybe not. It's a weird bug, to be honest, like, I really don't care this because, you know, um, what causes the buildings to move? It doesn't make any sense, like, you know. 
So there you have it. If OMC2 made sense, you know, it, 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 it wouldn't be known for being just so poorly optimized. Yeah, see, it's a love-hate relationship OMC2 at the moment. It's, the hate's kind of uh, trumping. Now we do it fast here for central London, aren't we? But like nearly 40 miles per hour. Which is what, like... 65 kilometers an hour? Yeah. But yeah, that's a good, like, it's, 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 you know, this is like a payroll quality map, and that's the thing, like, you know, it's, it's great that it's freeware. I don't know why it is really freeware, because this could, can be a payroll map, but to be honest, like, it'd be, it'd be more suited to a payroll map, because it's a proper uh, map, rather than, well, obviously there's no bus in it, though, so that's one of the issues. But, you know, it's pretty much got everything. Oh, there's a 211, when we're doing that route in Add London as an AI. Okay, no one's getting on, no problemo. Oh, we've caught up with the other 24, so yeah, that's where all our passengers are gone. Yeah, the two 24s. Now Westminster's up next. Okay, uh, how long are these lights gonna take? Okay, there it goes, should be nearly done. Yeah, interesting, they don't include an orange light, just like say, you know, save the, uh, I guess there's always just putting in like a flashing green light as orange. Then they have an orange light for cars, but yeah, obviously, probably like it's a bit more important to have like the orange light in for the cars, because obviously there's the those of the road and all that theory tests and all that done based off that, so yeah. Yeah, the potholes as well on the road are like a nice feature, like adds to the realism. There's Big Ben. One of like highlights and everything's the same as in uh, Adam London. They could compare the two Big Bens together, I guess. Yeah, eighteen months it take it took to make this map, which is a, a year and a half. So quite a bit of time, you know, quite a bit of dedication required. The big old uh, cycling. Yeah, I was tempted there to uh, overtake, but no, I, we did miss it, so. And there's the Mercedes cab, so what's this golf doing? Seems to be confused. Yeah, there you go, there's the use of a backdrop uh, for the bridge. Does it look, yeah, that backdrop, I have to say, does look, a, it's a bit too uh, pushing it, in my opinion, but yeah. Still, it's 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 just it's, it is always better than having the um it's always better than having the actual just you know the actual uh backdrop because yeah I never really understood like they always use the backdrop and obviously too like the default like in the default map so it kind of like doesn't feel realistic doing that now why is this light taking so long it says no left turn but I presume that's except for buses oh I mean that's left turn going left here never mind. That's our traffic light. Yeah, yeah. I was confused there for a sec. Uh, these lights really do take their time. Okay. Would be helpful <clears throat> if we were in this lane, just so... Uh... Yeah, anyway. That's fine. We got a bit of a head start at the lights, so yeah. So actually, see, Adam one's based off 2015, whereas this is based off 2022. So that explains also why the layout's slightly different, because obviously in Central London, they do tend to change things up. Ah, uh, so yeah, that would that that would explain partially. So yeah, here's a screenshot we get usually in Adam London, and here it is compared in uh Habs in um the Pimlico or I'm still on 24 project. And it does it does feel different, for sure. Like, it, it feels like, even though, you know, both, area, both maps do a good job of, at the realism, they still feel like distinctly, distinctly different maps. So 
there are the Iceland vans around. I know Iceland's like bigger in the UK than the in Ireland, but like. Is it that big to have like the vans? But I don't know. It is a UK van after all, isn't it? Nothing to do with the country, Iceland. Believe it or not. What's up with these parked cars in the middle of the lane? It's like, it's just, it doesn't look right to be honest. Like, I know that's how it is, but like, it's just, what, what a weird design. Urban architecture there for you. And I think the thing's not playing the, pro the analysis properly because, unfortunately, due to the thing getting messed up at, um, what do you call that map? Uh, at Victoria. Oh, never mind. Well, they're still playing. Not sure what stops. Whitehall, there's the horse gardens. Maybe that's why the horses are there. Some building works going on. Oh, yeah, there's a horse. Look at that. Yeah, look. Just all this little detail that adds to the map, you know, makes it extra bit more realistic. And obviously, it depends on what you've got your object complexity set to. You might not see this stuff, you might see more stuff. Because I'm on set at two, so but I, t I think ten most objects tend to appear at two or one. There's too much scripting, you know, to do it at three or all. I don't know. And that guy's just walked into a wall. Well, I shall say nothing. Okay, we just need a green light. Yeah, they put in the bollards as well. I think that's due to the terrorist attacks. Um, but yeah, they kind of just seem to uh, come and go. Maybe it's for something else. Yeah, presumably this is frozen now because it's just loading objects, so hopefully it will unfreeze soon enough. But this this is the kind of crap you have to put up with MC2. I actually can't believe this garbage game has crashed again because this is the second time it's crashed to me. Getting a bit fed up. Like, I, I really am tempted to give this uh, obviously two a thumbs down just because. You know. And this is why it's like you see all these new add ons being released, you're kind of are like being developed, you're kind of like, can you not like start moving away from OMC2? Because I don't know about you folks, but you know, OMC2 is kind of driving me to the end of my tether. Like, I just. Considering how limited my time is, like, I don't really fancy, you know, trying, spending three times to get one route complete because obviously you can, can't uh, bloody run stably for one run, you know? I have to deal with all these crashes with, like, stuff missing or stuff not loading in because obviously two every once in a while decides that if you have too many add-ons or if you install something that it doesn't like something because, you know, it's, it's too much for it to handle. And this is why I'd recommend no one ever get loaded because it's the same guy who's made OMC2 and, you know, considering the state they've left OMC2 in, uh, I don't know how you can trust them to make anything better at Lotus. So yeah, folks, this has crashed, so I'm going to pause this video now. I'm going to restart the garbage that is OMC2 and I'll be back in 10 minutes or 15 minutes whenever OMC2 decides to fully load up again and we'll continue this route. So yeah, this is OMC2 for you, the biggest piece of rubbish or junk that you can get on Steam. Uh, and I'm sorry for the hyperbole, but I am getting very frustrated with OMC2 at the moment because this is, you know, a complete waste of time now. I've wasted half an hour here just waiting for this bloody game to load. But yeah, folks, that is it. Hopefully one day something will crush OMC2 and hopefully Lotus will never see the light of day because I don't think, considering how they've left OMC2, that Lotus deserves any, um, well, okay, let's look into a rant, uh, but yeah.
uh, I think the negative reviews of Lotus are reflective of the kind of quality you get with this. And anyway, folks, uh, that is it. And I'll be back in like 10 minutes. Just going to pause this here. And we're going to restart OMC2 because OMC2 is just such a joy. Okay, everyone. So we are back. And um, yes, yeah, so basically, after having reloaded OMC2, we are back continuing the 24. I would restart the video, but considering this has crashed twice, I could just say that, you know, third time is not going to be the charm. So... We'll just continue off here and hopefully obviously you will decide to run stably for um and hopefully decide to run stably for at least you know about uh 10 minutes and that's not too much to ask but you never know uh obviously two just obviously two does take itself as a very important thing you know um ask, asking it to run smooth is just too much to ask for uh what you pay for so anyway uh let's continue on and um yeah let's let's do that So yeah, um, now we're heading towards Pimlico, uh, put in that there, okay. Now, uh, we need, oh, it's a roundabout, yeah, it was about to go straight through the wrong way around. Yeah, it's, uh, these roundabouts, it's, it is like a roundabout, but it's a bit of a, it's not a circular shape, so yeah. That makes things slightly confusing. If you know what I mean. So yeah, there's a 24 right in front of us. Uh, not really with a timetable, just because we're starting further up. There's a curtailment from Trafalgar Square, so that's where the curtailment start. Just means that you do a shorter version of the 24. So uh, I'm gonna set up this somewhere here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so we'll have the blinds roll as we go through. So yeah, um, Trafalgar Square not, not looking too bad. Oh, where did that fire truck appear from? Uh, but yeah, um, I don't know. I don't know what's up with my OMC. It's just, you know, um, it's, it's just acting up lately. It's giving me issues in Gainsborough. It wasn't giving me issues before. I think they can be verified the files, but I hate doing that because they have to reinstall running patches and everything else. It's just a big old pain, if I'm quite frank. But anyway, that's my issue. Uh, I think there's a baklava store. Oh, there's a 176, yeah. We, we mentioned that in the stream last time. Oh, look at that. It was one of those uh, bicycles with it. Uh, oh, I thought that was a choice. Oh, it is, yeah. Those things at the back, yeah, it's just like, it's, it's nice the, like, static AI they have. Unfortunately, that they don't have it as an actual AI uh, vehicle thing. Because presumably you can just get that, like, because they like, can just get it as an AI vehicle and it moves, although probably the physics might not exactly be there. But yeah, some pedestrian streets here. Oh, wow, look at that, yeah. 176, the penge. Or Peng, I think it's called, it's pronounced Peng, not Penge. Let's see, is there anyone getting on here for us or are they for the 176? Well, let's see for the, for the 176, well, we are full on now, they're for the 24. Yeah, I don't think that's the plan because we only have no time to active until we haven't followed this part. That's like dim true. Destination change. You don't really get a destination change now, do you? Uh, but yeah, in terms of the map, yeah, it's unfortunate that uh, we couldn't really get a nice smooth roll in this. Uh, but, you know, I think it's also partially because I'm using this boss. And I think this boss tends to be a bit more heavy on the on the memory. So that might also be part of the issue. Uh, but, you know, it's, 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 obviously, it's always more than one thing. That's, yeah, uh, more, more than one thing that's uh, making things go not... Yeah, not smoothly. Cambridge. Yeah, there's a nice little, like, uh... Flyer for cafe there. It's just, like, the level of detail just, you know... Makes that map the extra bit more enjoyable. That's... I was gonna say that's 24, but no, it's not. No way. Well, we open the back door, though. It's gonna get out. There's no even on the bus yet. 
Yeah, I believe probably should remove the face mask, but um, but yeah, once I verify the files, I'll just remove itself. I don't, I, so probably words, yeah. Yeah, it's time I guess to get rid of the face mask mod. Uh, yeah, it's forgotten now. Well, at least in the UK and Ireland, we've kind of a uh, passed that stage. Yeah, see that that's shuttered up, but at night time it won't be shuttered up. But yeah, that's that's the guess the limitation though. That'd be a nice thing in simulators where like at night time you could have stuff shuttered up, you know. Add to the realism, but you know, obviously these uh, these uh the the buildings normally do is just PNGs. Um so uh, I guess in other games it might be PNGs, but in other games they're more dynamic, uh whereas here it's, it is literally just uh PD mesh with a PNG stuck on it. This focus again is the same one as before that was blocking us. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't think so. I don't care. Yeah, no, 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 no. Bonker. That's what they are. Yeah, a lot of construction work going on, isn't there? There's still construction. Like, I want to say boom, but like, yeah. But I guess it's London, you know, there's always going to be construction going on. I just think when they chose red for the buses, like, you know, red, like, what's it about the colour red? Yeah, this, this AI is as smart as a cat, isn't it? You'll be winning, uh, they'll be winning, you know, IQ tests and uh, whatever else, you know, Nobel Prizes for the level of intelligence they have. Why is that traffic light still green? No, I'm, I'm trying to shoot this mop because cause this mop had literally cut me, cut right through me, so nope, I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, running red light. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the worst. So it's all the cuts in front of you and then you miss a, a light just because they decide to cut you off. Ah, there's a garbage truck as well, that's a nice addition. I that being like one of the main features of the AI in uh, the Chicago downtown DLC. Yeah, it should be a nice addition I guess for the maps as well. Ainsbury's. I'm getting off. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so oh, here we go. What's going on here? What is yeah, what is going on here? I don't know what's going on there, but uh, for some reason the AI stopped and yeah, typical obviously too. Yeah, anytime something is wrong, we just say typical obviously too. But it's kind of, this is kind of like, you know how it's going to be up the main streets with all like, the shops? This is kind of like just showing to like all the main streets and it's got, obviously it's London, but yeah, it's just... It's a very refreshing map. Quite enjoyable, yeah, so hopefully they get Victoria working. Uh, I'll just have to, ver yeah, I'll probably have to verify the game files. Install all the, all the branding patches. All the pain associated with that. But sure, it has to be done, so it has to be done. No, we're going straight, aren't we? Yeah, I'm seeing left turns here and all that, but now we're going straight. Except. Except buses, taxis, and cycles. Well, cyclists, yeah. Cycles, yeah. Who, who, who says that? Cycles. Why is this slide taking so long? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, there's a tree nine. That's another route I remember we did in as an area. That was quite short there. Oh yeah, because we're nearly used to now, aren't we? Do, 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 do. How many years does it take for a light to turn green? That's showing wood green. 
Bir şey fazla soruyor ya. Is, I, I actually don't know how these lights are still, still red. Yeah, finally. The Mercedes van sprinter, I think it is. Could also be a minibus. Well, no, I mean, same model is a minibus, but this one obviously is a van. Ah, oh, yeah, Rivas. I think that's operated at the Turnpike Lane. Is this twenty-nine? Because yeah, it doesn't have a depth essential on it as far as I know. Oh, look at the errors. Yeah, this is the oldest unchanged route in London. Yeah, usually this route never got changed, but kind of you know it passes through pretty much all the central spots in London, so you know. I mean, it kind of it, it seems like a pretty logical route, like you know, get you. It also like a route tourists might use. Gets the job done. Let's start with this road here. Oh, it's a cycle lane. Ah, that makes sense. Do a cycle lane, yeah. But it's just only literally for like one section of road, and that's it. No more two-way cycle lane. But what lasted? Maybe just chucked in there probably because like uh, the space for it there nowhere else. Oh, it's green. Yeah, the fan was blocking the view there. What's up with these like? I was gonna say because I thought they were originally like, bright things, but it doesn't have all the colors and I don't know what's. There's like pay, uh, pay, like you know what they call them? Uh, zebras. Like you know how the zebra tells you at the cross. Seventy-three. I don't recognize that route from Adlon. I think so. Yeah, that's an exclusive area, so to speak. I don't actually recognize that route from anywhere, like in London in general. So, no idea what route, what that route does. Ah, Tesco Express. I'm not a fan of Tesco. Tesco's become very overpriced here. There used to be a time when Tesco was actually good value. Ah, not anymore. And like you know, they're, they're, they're making like three billion in profit, and yet like they're increasing the prices. Like kind of like, yep, I am supporting this. So, oh, there's little, yeah, this was not, uh, this was quite good. Oh, little is always kind of annoying. Just buying one thing, just because there's always massive queues. Although to be fair, there's like massive queues in Tesco as well. Uh, like a, there's some sort of water there, isn't there? What's up with this Amazon Fresh? I might actually pop down there um, when I'm in London in a few months' time. Yeah, it's just it seems like it's some sort of a uh, you know food shop. Yeah, there's a 27. That route's also going to be uh, the next route that the developers are going to work on. So it's interesting. The developers like decided to do more after this because I think he did some in Coalfields and he kind of just took a long break and he started working on this the 24. But yeah, 27 up next. That used to be a mainstay for Envoy for hundreds until it got the uh, new route masters. I don't think the new route masters are 27 though. Yeah, it's going to be like oh yeah, what makes a bus to the route, you know. Yeah, the 27 must also be a quite long AI route because that starts up near uh, Camden Town, just yeah, just past it. Chalk Fire presumed the name from like the Industrial Revolution times. That stop is closed. But well, it probably wasn't even our stop anyway. <laughs> that's your guys just like looking at the store. Okay. Ah, yeah, the roadworks. Yeah, it's good that there's only this one section of roadworks. Presumably, these roadworks are taking place now because this is based just like 
in 2022, just after the current restrictions have finished in, um, well, mostly finished in the UK, as far as I know, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty much, that's what the developers said then, and the little buyer for the map. But yeah, it's good that they, they haven't overdone the roadworks, because roadworks can be annoying if there's too many of them. They don't tend to get, like, five or six of them, on, like, on the one route, you know? Yeah, so that is also... Because that's the cell part, isn't it? Uh, oh, there's the railway, yeah. But it's... Um, 129, yeah. Same bus we're driving. You can tell because it says Volvo on it. I don't think it says Volvo on the, the street decks. But it might, actually, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, there's a bus turbulence here. What about bus turbulence here? Yeah, let's skip that part. Oh, is someone getting off? I think so. Doesn't look like it. Yeah. We're flying through here in London. And someone's parked in the bus lane. Lovely. Is someone getting off? I don't remember what, like, the symbol is to indicate someone's getting off. But yeah, that taxi just pulled over there because it's indicating, so... The zoom is, like, simulating, like, oh yeah, the taxi is, like, dropping someone off. Ah, Papa Jones. We have that down in the UK. Yeah, here it's usually more just Supermax. Ah, Poundland as well. There you go. Well, I know they have Poundland, but yeah, I haven't seen any Poundland on the street so far. Hedges on that building as well. Pretty cool, I guess. Okay, there were people getting off. Yeah, you can see here there's like little low dot lights presumably for the bus to turn in. The Camden head. So yeah, we're nearing the end of the route. Okay. Yeah, see there's the thing, like they they're just up in the winter clothes, but uh, you know, in summertime, should they be there? Yeah, that's the other thing with obviously too, there's no continuity between winter like the seasons, like you know, in winter they're dressed up as if it's in summertime. Yeah, I was just kind of like a lattice, like, you know. It's lasted a long time, but, you know, not without its fault. Uh, Aldi Local. I think Aldi Local. Huh. Yeah. Who knows? Aldi Local. Yeah, that's, uh... That's kind of interesting, Aldi Local. Because, yeah, it's, it's just called Aldi, like, you know. So it must be a small Aldi. Presumably. All the party is a thing in the state, so it's little, don't think so. Now, I presume we're going straight. Yeah. Oh, wait. Why is there two signs? Camden Curtailment. Ah, there's a Curtailment to Camden. Nice. So yeah, there's a, something else to explore on the map. Yeah, these containers are a nice little addition just to add to the playability of the map. Um, they're untimetabled. You know, but I guess that's handy because you have to, I don't have to be timetabled. That would be timetabled like as a day's event or something. And, you know, safe scenario is just like a bit messy. So it's easier if they're untimetabled. It's just, just kind of for a bit of fun more so than anything else. Yeah, the, the leading McDonald's ads, you can't escape them. Oops. 
Actually, I remember this part as well. Yeah, this feels like this is exactly like Captain Town. So yeah, it's, it's the, it is quite nice the level of realism. But, like they've added the people, you know, it's just an absolutely stunning map. It's definitely like one of the best maps out there, if not like the best. You know, I'm very impressed with this map. I have to say, like this and Belgrade probably be my favorite maps because it just it just you know. Oh yeah, this I remember this part. Yeah, usually have the market there. Yeah. It's, 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 you know, it's like, this is the thing, like, this is what the map's meant to do, you know, real map. It's meant to feel like the actual place, and, like, with the level of detail, it's like, I've just recognized that place. And, oh my god, obviously it's crashed again! Okay, luckily not, because we're doing it at the end, and I don't have the patience for this nonsense of obviously too. Yeah, this is also the big thing they have in the UK, is that when they paint the bridges at the name of the place, like, you have Camden Town, it's the same with Lock Runner. Oh yeah, this part of the market as well, yeah. No, it is, it is a nice route because like, I, you know, it's definitely one of the routes that requires more details. So it's a fair play to the developer for sticking to it. Because, you know, a lot of these maps get cancelled before, so it's just nice to have something new add to the uh, collection, so to speak. Yeah, interesting, I pressed the door a few times and didn't close accidentally when I told it would. There's a 27 again. Hammersmith Grove. Very central, I guess, as well. Take a look inside the Captain Market, all the people there, yeah. Yeah, this is why I take pictures in the ca- uh, I take screenshots here in the Camden area. Kind of a nice place, because oh, I used to always go to Camden Town, so yeah. Kind of like, oh yeah. Zoom really turn right here. Yeah, so I think the 27th terminates further up, just like behind it. Let's go something, yeah, we do. Oh! Was close, that was close. So, uh, I wonder if it's showing left turns, it means just, yeah, I think that's left turns only, no right turns for some reason. Um, okay. Presumably it's gonna turn green. Um, half a flip's sake. Oh, okay, that's just a rail bridge. Yeah, because now, well, now for the turns, I presume it just turns green for both ways, hopefully. I'll have to wait even longer. But yeah, but it was true here because by the time they pull off, they'll have made their turn. Yep, there you go. This is tight. The big rattle because we stopped in like a different colored part of the road. Euro millions, but it's in pounds. Interesting. Not only the euro, then, is it? But yeah, folks, I have to say this map is definitely, I definitely recommend it. You know, um, it's very easy to install. It's all like, pretty much in one, apart from the bus stops. It's completely free, it includes a depot, well, it pretty much has everything you want, you know, can't really fault it, there's some issues there with the Victoria, I'm not sure if others are encountering those, but you know, overall, definitely one of the most uh, superb maps out there for MC2, so, what you waiting for, go and get it. Now, I, uh, I'm not sure if we go sh we go straight yet. I was going to say turn left. No, we can't turn left there. There's nothing there.
Yeah, I wonder what the full duty like this is on, it's just going back and forth at 24. <laughs> What's that? Um, yeah, some political ad there. I don't actually heard of what that is. Too tend to generally be in tune with the political side of things, but. Did anyone in that instance? Yeah, okay, not, not really essential, essential one per se anymore. With all these spe uh, like speed bumps, narrow roads. I think on the counter tunnel it can be quite poor though. I wonder why you chose to make this route actually, yeah. What is, what is it about the 24? Well, actually, when people ask about the 24 was like, so I think it, was, it is a, I guess, a route of oh, some sentimental value. What's this? Uh, Queens and Crescents, yeah, some sort of market. I think she's only crossing. But she uh, will uh, quickly. Yeah, do that. Nice little gardens there. Yeah, it's just like the level of detail, like, you know, there's nothing, there's, there's, no, there's no like backdrops or like, you know, visible uh, nothingness. So, you know, the level of detail is absolutely superb. The map's like completely dead now, there's some scooters just there, nowhere else though. You know, and it just adds to the map and everything. Come on, obviously two. There's like literally two stops left, you can't do this to me. Yeah, if this crashes here, I'm just gonna end the video here because there's no, I don't restart the obviously for two stops. Uh, definitely, I need to, I just need to verify the files. Not that it's gonna do anything, but you know. But obviously too clear at this point is just, you know, uh, completely lost the plot. Like, um, C2, how much I hate you. That's a good song. But anyway. Yeah, folks, unfortunately we didn't get to do the whole route because um, C2 is, well, uh, I'll let you fill in the blanks. But yeah, um... Um, hopefully we'll manage to get the full one of the video. I probably won't use this bus again because this bus seems to just crash all the time. Probably using the 400 that tends to run stably enough. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I don't know why it's crashed again, but this is obviously two, you know, and yeah. But the map's quite good. Uh, just make sure you have the 4GB patch installed, and yeah. That is it. Uh, I do plan to do the air route to this video once I get my hopes to working properly because, well, this is not that. But yeah, folks, that is it for now. And uh, we'll be shooting this map again at some point uh, because we didn't really do it just as last time. So, yeah. But again, when I stream this one, we'll be able to run smoothly without crashing every half an hour. So, yeah, that's it for now. Until next time, bye for now.